Car dealership turnover is crazy right now. They're losing their sales staff left and right, going to different dealerships thinking the grass is greener, or they're just completely getting out of the industry. And it's not a new thing. Car sales has always had high turnover, but especially right now. Why? Look at these prices. $80,000 for a regular pickup truck. $60,000, you're not even going to get any leather. It's insane. We all know these prices are crazy. Combined with high prices, though, you have high interest rates that are finally coming down a little, but still, the new car average interest rate is over 6%. Used, over 12%. That's still high to me. 6% on a new car, pretty crazy, and that's going to obviously slow down sales. Combined with all this stuff, not every dealership is made equal. Think about it. Some are still doing markups and addendum stickers and charging $200 for nitrogen like you got to be kidding me. And you got to think that's going to slow down your sales. Think about it, guys. It's common sense. But yet they still charge those markups and stuff. So obviously, if you're a salesperson at a dealership like that, then yeah, you're going to struggle probably more than the others. And that's more like a gross dealership. They have other dealerships that are volume-based that try to sell as much volume that normally don't have addendum stickers, but I'm telling you, get out of those gross stores because you guys are going to starve. And unfortunately, no one really feels sorry. I would say the average person, if you talk to them, car sales is kind of lumped in with divorce lawyers. You know, it's not necessarily like an honorable career that a lot of people say that's an honorable thing to do. If you look at my comments, normally people are saying these people, and it's not just the car sales, but it's a whole group. It's the executives over that build the vehicles. It's everybody combined. They're trying to get as much money as they can from every single end, and it's just not a good thing. So you have the highest prices. People are like, I'm not buying new cars again. These prices are insane. You got to be kidding me. The dealership went crazy doing $200 for nitrogen, $10,000 markups. Like, what are you thinking, dealership, that you can do that? Like, come on. You guys are a dealership that's selling the cars. You guys are just trying to suck as much money as possible. And think about how that's going to affect your future customers. It's just common sense. So, like, your future customers are not going to come back to you because they know you're a scam. It's just going to hurt your future clientele base. It's just the stupidest thing I've ever seen. So unfortunately, most people don't feel sorry for them. And yes, a lot of people are losing their job. And then think about the average tenure at a car dealership. It's not long at all. I'm telling you, it's what, three months probably? People are not there at all for a long time. And this is sales in general, but especially car sales. And it's for a lot of reasons. Like I mentioned, a lot of hours. It's a lot of, and this is for many reasons. It's a lot of hours. You can make good money, but some won't. And then it's also, it can be pretty scammy and slimy. And that's why I just had to get out of it. I just couldn't do it anymore. I was in car sales for years. I made good money while doing it. I never sold a car with the markup or anything like that. But it's still a pretty sleazy business because you have the F&I box. And I was being a part of that because I'm getting the customer to go into the F&I box. So for me, I just couldn't do it anymore. Think about that, the F&I box. And that's where everybody wants to go. The salesmen normally want to thrive to get back in that box because they can make even more money. But the problem is it's a really rough way to make a living back in that F&I box. It's just so scammy. And just so many parts of a dealership are always so scammy from the service to the sales to the F&I. Just the whole operations of the dealership tries to rip you off every Every single way. And I'm not saying all of them, but 99.9% .9 of them, generally speaking, try to get as much money as they can in any opportunity. And that's the problem. I get so many comments, even people that are in the industry 40 years. I've been selling cars for 30 years, they say. They're like, my days are numbered. I am getting to the point where I'm done. I've never seen it this bad. Profits down. So the only way they can actually sell these vehicles is completely getting rid of any sort of dealer profit, which is how it was before. You didn't make money on new cars. Every dealership lost money on new cars. And if anything, you'd make money on service and everything. Everything. But they got so greedy, and obviously the F&I box is where they made money. But during 2020, 2021, they got used to making all this money on the front gross-in profit, and now they're really biting them because now, one, all these customers are upside down, and you're just screwing your own customer base. So it's real funny that they did it to themselves. And the customers are just not going to go back to these dealerships. But at the end of the day, every dealership's affected, even if you don't have markups, because customers are done paying these crazy prices from the manufacturer itself. And there's always so much to the dealership can discount if they do discount and you still have the ones that aren't so it's just a crazy mess that's going on but let me know what you think are you interested in becoming a car salesman or are you a car salesman how is it are you thinking about buying a car right now would you buy a car with these prices most people say no way in the world because you can get the same vehicle basically just three years ago four years ago was 50% less. It's insane how much the prices have been increased and you're not getting much more value. And so obviously people are not buying as many cars and now you have the sales staff really struggling. It is what it is, but it's quite unfortunate. Let me know what you think. Have a great day and stay blessed.